Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft All the Mods 8. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the different wireless grids uh, that are part of the refined storage mod. Uh, these grids will allow you to access your storage system remotely from distant locations. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button, so that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Alright, so, a couple things we're going to need today. The first thing we're going to make is a wireless transmitter. We need one of those. And for that, you're going to use six quartz-enriched iron, one advanced processor, one ender pearl, and a machine casing. Okay, next we're going to make a wireless grid. Now you're going to see these recipes look pretty familiar. This one has six quartz enriched iron, an advanced processor, an ender pearl, and a regular grid. So very much the same except for the middle component. Next is the wireless crafting grid. Again, six quartz enriched iron, advanced processor, ender pearl, and a crafting grid. And the last one today is the wireless fluid grid, which again is six quartz enriched iron, advanced processor, ender pearl, and a fluid grid. Okay. So the last thing we're going to need are range upgrades. And for that, it's going to be five quartz enriched iron, three ender pearl, and a standard upgrade. This upgrade itself is the upgrade base you use to make any of the refined storage upgrades. Okay. So... Of course, to start off, we're going to need ourselves a refined storage system. If you're not familiar with how to set up a basic refined storage system, I will link a tutorial showing that in the description area of this tutorial here today. Uh, but what we have is a crafting grid, our controller, we have a disk drive with a 1K storage disk in it. Now, let's go ahead and put something in that system. I'm going to grab some wood uh, planks. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone, get a stack of that, and a stack of dirt. Okay? We put those in our storage system. So now we have 192 items in our storage system. Now, let's grab the components that we built today. So that's going to be a wireless transmitter, the three different grids. There's a wireless grid, a wireless fluid grid, and a wireless crafting grid. And then we have four range upgrades. We need four of those. So the wireless transmitter itself just needs to be connected somewhere to your refined storage. I usually just set it on top like that. Okay, and this system is currently being powered by a creative uh, mineral battery. Uh, you can use any RF storage system, or sorry, you can use any power service system to uh, power your refined storage. So we're talking about windmills, any of the um, generators or the reactors. Any power system will work as long as it's providing RF power. Now, when we connect our wireless transmitter, it lights up up top because it's getting power. Because a refined storage system will transfer power along any uh, refined storage component connected to it. So I could set it over here, I could set it down there, anywhere I like. As long as this is connected to refined storage with other boxes, uh, refined components connected to the controller that's getting power, it will get power as well. Okay? So, we have our three grids here. We have our wireless grid, we have our fluid grid, and we have our uh, crafting grid. Now, if I right-click on those, you'll see it says Network Not Found. So right now, we have, to, we have no access. We have to connect or sync these grids to our refined system. To do that, you're going to hold Shift and then right-click on the controller. Now, you'll notice down in the little bar there where I have the component, the screen became lit up. It's now blue, letting us know that it is synced. We're going to do the same thing with the fluid grid which also goes blue, and then the crafting grid, which lights up orange. A little bit different, but the same way. It's lit up to show, show us that those are connected. Now that I've synced them to my system, if I right-click, they still don't work, because it says the grid is out of energy. These grids do need to be charged with RF power as well. There are many different ways to charge items in all the mods 8, from using a flux system to auto-charge everything, wireless chargers. Today we're just going to be using a charging station from the Charging Gadgets mod. All I have to do is right-click that, and then shift-click with my wireless grid, and you'll see that the bar underneath is filled up to green, which means it is fully charged. I'm going to do that with all three of these. 
Uh, this is just one of the many methods to be able to charge your components. If you are manually charging them with something like this, as that green bar underneath of them gets down and empty, you will have to charge them again. But now that they are charged and synced, if I right click with my grid, you can see now I can see the items that are inside of my refined storage. Now, the wireless grid gives you access to items. It does not give you the ability to craft within it. For that, you need the wireless crafting grid. The wireless crafting grid gives you the same access, but it also lets you craft directly out of this system. So let's say I want to take these planks and I want to make a crafting table. I just did that using items that are in my storage system. Now, if I take that and put it in the grid here, up top like I did before, it says that there is a crafting table now inside my system. If we go over to the refined storage shelf, we'll see it in there as well. So it shares the same inventory. It adds it to the disk in the disk drive. It just does it remotely from a distance. Now, the wireless fluid grid gives us access to any of the fluids we may have if we're using fluid storage disks. Now, I don't have any of those in here currently, but they work the exact same way. If I was to go ahead and grab a fluid storage disk, let's grab one here. Uh, we'll grab a small one. Here's a 64K, well, 64K fluid storage disk. Ooh, there's a cheetah. Pop that in there. So now it'll hold fluid. So if I was to get a bucket of water and I was to go over here and put that in my system, it shows up as a bucket of water, okay? We go into our fluid grid, and it doesn't show it because it's not in there as a fluid, it's in there as a physical item. But if you were to go into your fluid, if you had a fluid grid, hypothetically, wireless fluid grid, and you put it in there like this, now you'll see that the bucket is emptied and it's in there as one block of water. Now we can't see that, with our regular grid attached to our refined storage. We'd have to have a fluid grid attached as well. But with our wireless fluid grid, now we can, or wireless fluid grid, right one, we can see the bucket, or the water. Now, if I take a bucket, toss it in there, and then open up my wireless fluid grid, and I say I want this water, clicking on it, if there's an empty bucket in your system, we'll go ahead and put that water in the bucket and let you take it back out again. So if I had thousands of water in here and I had a few buckets, I could go ahead and repetitively grab the buckets out of there if I wanted to. And that way I have access to buckets of water without having to carry around a water source block. So all three of these grids are super helpful. Uh, the, again, the basic crafting grid, if you don't have the components to make the... Or the the basic grid, if you don't have the components to make the crafting grid, is great. Use that. Uh, but definitely you want to upgrade to at least the crafting grid. It's the one you're going to find the most useful. Now, these only have a limited amount of range, and that's why we made the range upgrades. If we go into our wireless transmitter and we right-click on that, we'll see it will go 16 blocks, and then I lose access. But if I add a range upgrade over here, it becomes 24 blocks. I can add four of those and it becomes 48 blocks, which is the maximum distance that any of my controllers are going to be able to link using a standard wireless transmitter. Now, if I had another uh, connected refined storage somewhere else and with another transmitter on it, I get in range of that one, it will work as well. And there are many ways to link different refined storages. But if I go too far away, and we'll just zip out here a little bit. See, if I'm going here, I can still see it. But now I can't. There's no wireless transmitter in range. So I need to be within that 48 blocks in order to be able to use my crafting grid, which still does seem limiting. Uh, there are some much, much more uh, difficult to make advanced uh, upgrades that you can add, which will give you uh, unlimited and there's uh, a limited distance and there's one that will work across dimensions We're gonna look at those in another tutorial because they're much more difficult to make and not something you'll have early game But this just alone just having a wireless crafting grid to be able to work about your work area without having to constantly run back to your storage system You're gonna find immensely useful and it's definitely something I recommend putting together as soon as you possibly can all right, so that's going to do us for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions about this or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put that down in the comments, and I'll do my very best to get back with you as quickly as I can, as well as any recommendations or suggestions you may have for other tutorials you'd like to see in all the Mods 8. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and at the bottom of the homepage is a place that you can submit questions uh, or feedback or recommendations via email. While you're there, you'll find links to all my socials, streaming schedule, and other awesome information. Highly recommend checking out the site. 
But that is going to do me for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.